Hey guys, this is Lecro and I'm answering your questions from Instagram. So from Kristaps Geb, why is Lecro looking like Forrest without a beard? Love you guys. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think uh, my teammates might have be better answers, but uh, I don't think I look like Forrest without a beard. <coughs> you do. <coughs> <laughs> so Vasilko asked, who do you think is the next rising Swedish star? Uh, I'd say Brolin, some might say Res, but I think he's already proven to be a Swedish star, so... Uh, but I think Brolin could be the next one to be rising as one. The real Martin Olsson. How is Lecro different from Exist as an in-game leader? Um, I'm not sure, I haven't played with Exist, but... Um, yeah, I don't think I can answer this one, sorry bro. <laughs> and Gionova asks, how did they get their names? Uh, mine is actually from a Swedish like a candy box, I'd say. It's called Lekkerol. And that's how it began for me, at least. Joel or Jolie asked, do you ever play the hostage map? Uh, office or a wingman? Uh, I used to play office with my friends. Like uh, when we play matchmaking, we just add uh, agency or uh, office to the map pool. And we say, uh, there's no way it's going to be this map, but sometimes you get unlucky. But with the, the newer system, you can see what map it is, so it doesn't really work anyway, anymore, because someone always gets upset and is like, no, I'm not accepting. So, but uh, we used to. Albion Rex High said, my friends, what's your music taste? Hope it's as good as Dennis. Um, I think I probably have better than Dennis. Um, uh, but I listen to a lot of things. I listen to rock, a lot of instrumental, piano, like everything. But uh, it depends on the mood. But right now I'm listening to a lot of instrumental and uh, just piano music, just some chill music. <laughs> okay, so Jitler 3 asks Lecro, how are you so good with the Digo? Um, I'm not sure, I'm just uh, pretty good with it. Uh, I, d I don't practice anything with it, I just hope I hit the first bullet and the rest can go anywhere. Killian Clendenen asked, how do you stay in a good mood during stressful games? Um, I think it might be something I need to work on, because, uh, well stressful I wouldn't say, but it's more like um, when you have a bad game as a team, it's uh, hard to stay in a good mood, but I think um, in stressful games, I think it's easier for me to, fo uh, to have focus because uh, uh, since I'm the in-game leader, I have to be focused at all times, so I usually, usually try to stay that way. Tripe hum Humano asked, love you guys, who do you consider the best aimer in NIP right now? Uh, I think uh, it goes for everyone, and I'm gonna say Rez. Uh, I think he has the most uh, crisp and uh, just easiest, the best aims. You're gonna see one taps and everything from him, so an easy, easy one. B Beast X asked Lecro tips for aim, dude. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm the best aimer, but on a good day, maybe I'm pretty good. But uh, aim, aim tips. Um, might just be doing deathmatch, uh, either aim bots or just uh, free for all deathmatches. I think is the best uh, way, unless you do just play normal face it games or whatever. I think any like anything you can play is good practice. And Birke Birkehorn uh, asked, who in NIP puts in the most time? Um, I would probably say Get Right. Uh, at least that's the one I see who puts in the extra time a lot. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's get right for, for the team. Lorian Zoa asked, do you think there is ever really a core to any team? Or is a core even necessary? Um, I think a core is something that builds up uh, once uh, a team gets close. And whenever they have uh, a player change, I think, of course, since the people know each other from before, it's going to stay as a core. But I don't think it's necessary to have as a team. I just think it's unnatural to build that kind of friendship in a team when you got to know each other for that long. Nick H. Ill asked, uh, which map do you prefer personally? Um, the one I think is the most fun is probably Terrain. Might be Mirage even. Um, so that's probably the maps I think are the most fun. 
at least not dust two. She spread 32 asked, what do you fear the most? I don't have any obvious fears that I know about or think about, but I'm I, I sure, I sure I have something, but I don't know exactly. Wilhelm Klingborg uh, asked, favorite place to play? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, home soil, so Stockholm for me. I think it was really awesome to play here uh, in Globen. Uh, I'd love to do it again, and uh, uh, I love having the support from the Swedish crowd. Uh, Osman Gunaidien asked, "How do you keep calm on clutch moments?" Um, I think the easiest way to keep calm in clutch moments is just think about where you have everyone. Uh, so I guess clutch is in a, like 1v3, 1v4. If you know where all the players are, it's going to be easier to win the round. But if you don't have any information on them, it's going to be really hard. So you just have to be focused on where they are and what your plan is on who to kill first and sort of. Said Torres uh, asked or said, I'm 27. Is it too late to think about trying to go pro? Um, it might be actually. Um, depending on since you don't know if you're gonna be a pro in one, two, three years. So right now I don't think like there isn't really an age ceiling right now that you can't be this old for etc. But uh, I think there might be in the future if there's gonna be too much younger players coming in um, into the scene. They might be um, or organizations might want to have younger players to keep their brand in the future. But I think. Uh, it might be tough, but I don't. I don't think it's impossible. Uh, it depends on how much time you play, and if you have talent, you, you could go anywhere. Okay, so Cedrex has uh, said, "Who on the team has the most CS:GO knowledge after Get Right?" Uh, I'd probably say Forrest then, because he's played uh, a lot more than others of us. I think Dennis has a lot as well. But I think uh, probably Forrest is uh, the one I'd say. Sax Hamaria official uh, asked what do you like to do besides CSGO in your free time? Um, I mostly play Dota 2 right now um, instead of CS when I can uh, just to relax and chill off um, So that's what I do trying to rank up as good as I can uh, Seb Boistian asked how to keep the team uh, the team moral high go ninjas um, I'm not sure. I think it's just uh, just naturally uh, keeping the moral high. Um, if you force it, it's gonna like be weird instead. But if you like say like nice try and everything after each round for something, it's gonna be natural. And I think that's the the way to keep the moral high. But if you like have a few bad rounds and someone say like it's, it's okay, and then it's like I don't think that's the way uh, to keep the moral high. But I think uh, just having a just cheering for each other in every moment of the game. I think that's how you keep the moral high. Uh, Charlie Witt asked, what is the worst thing you have done while raging? Uh, no one raging. I mean, I punched the desk a few times, but never at an event, I think. Uh, but I think might be slamming my mouth, so it's it, it didn't break, but it's not as good as with what before, but probably something like that. Sting189 asked how to become a pro like you guys and compete in international events. I think um, the first of all, you need talent. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, you have to be good and understand the game. And after that, I think if you have it, you can. Uh, if you put down, put in the time and uh, play as much as you can, or uh, show your, show yourself off to other players, you're gonna start by finding maybe a not as good team, but you have to start somewhere. And uh, if you have the motivation and dedication, I think, I think uh, anyone can do it. Thanks for sending in your questions, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.